Okay, so Mark, what are, what are, what are we making here? What is, what is this? This is a uh, mostly Whoa. vegetarian lunch. Okay. From a restaurant that is built underneath one of the Buddha people trees at the temple that's close to our house. And uh, this temple, Watswan Dock, produces food at this restaurant, Pun Pun, is Pun the name Pun. of the place. Okay. So we have three different kinds of curry. Great. Okay, we have a traditional green curry that's probably pretty typical Which one of is? Uh, Thailand. This, okay. but a vegetarian version of Great. that. Great, I'm actually veggie, so that oh, yeah. worked out. We're Great. all veggie here. Beautiful. Then we have a masaman curry that would be more famous in like India. Awesome. And then we have a uh, yellow curry also. So I like to have roti, and they have whole wheat roti, mm. but they also produce, this is Thailand's version of a brown rice, it's sort of oh, a cool. red rice, and then a uh, stir fry veggie version of that also they call their international rice, and you can see all the good stuff. Yeah, yeah. So Beautiful. That's kind of what we got. Now this is a specialty only you can get in Thailand. This is a salad we're going to put together. Dok bua is flour. Those are fried flowers. And we're going to dump those in there with a really good dressing. Wait, like and like flowers, like yeah, yeah uh -huh. the actual flowers themselves. So flower salad and three types of curry. Sure beats Domino's. Yeah, and that's <laughs> probably that's a pretty expensive lunch there. That probably cost us about three U.S. dollars. <laughs> oh god, so. unbelievable. So they're kind enough to separate the veggies from the the fried flowers so that we can mix them ourselves and that way these stay crunchy and don't get soggy. Wow. So I can't really tell you what the flowers are but uh, there could be some orchid in there I would guess. Wow. And I'm, I'm not sure what the others are. And what's, and what's All this? edible flour. This is and their sauce dressing? and I yeah. can't tell you what's in it but it's a secret. You'll be able to try it. <laughs> I almost forgot to bring <laughs> film back on about how awesome this food was because it's almost gone but um, it was is absolutely delicious. This is from the mango, mango tree. Mango tree, you can see the it's design. Beautiful. Oh. And this is very popular in Thailand. Also, this is a uh, not uh, brass silverware, and there's a whole village dedicated to making this stuff just outside of Chiang Mai. Mm -hmm. So they built the city in between the river and the mountain. So it's a sacred city, and similar to kind of Kathmandu, where we used to live, where there's a hundred temples. You know, everywhere you throw a stone. Here's the case too. When you sit in the center of the city, mm -hmm. just within a mile around is a hundred different temples, or chetis, or the stupas. So it's kind of a magical place like that. So as tourism started to grow, what happened, they put a railway system in, I think that was about the 1950s, and they put the, uh, when that happened, it made it, you know, a day trip to get up here, and people would come out to present things to the foreigners like gifts, and they would spread these elaborate blankets or silk and put things on, on the ground for gifts, for, that was kind of their tradition, and that became a hawker's market. Mm -hmm. So there's one place out here just due west of the city called Bosan, and I guess at one point there was silk given and umbrellas, and so there's a city of umbrellas where you can go to a yearly umbrella festival that's coming in the next couple of weeks, Bosan, and uh, the silk industry grew up there, and somehow the silverware industry got involved out there. So if uh -huh. you go out there, you'll see silver jewelry, yeah. but also silverware and umbrellas. And what's neat is they take these umbrellas and they paint them, with traditional symbols like maybe a dragon or some of the gods or goddesses you see around the Thai temples. And you can get these painted on your clothing or your purse or your wallet or whatever. It's quite a souvenir.